Good morning, Saxons. Today is February 22nd. Happy National Sweet Potato Day. And welcome back to FIT. Let's get started with some general news. If you're wanting to buy your Saxon slides from the Saxon Shack, remember, they are $35 a pair, and the last day to order is March 1st. Order yours today at ferris.itemorder.com. There is the Ferris Jazz Summit tonight. The summit will take place from 7 to 9 p.m. in the auditorium. Congratulations to Charles Myersberg for winning World Language Student of the Month in February. Reporter Charlie Wood talked to him and Sensei Ogata about his success in Japanese class. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, no. The reason why I picked Charles, uh, Aki-san, is to celebrate his um, global citizenship and excellence in Japanese language learning. Uh, he consistently exceeds my expectation, whether when we do letter exchange with the Mukogawa college students, or when they come to the ferries and they visit them, or every day in class learning, or when we create the story. Uh, he always adds creativity in his work. Uh, I picked Japanese because I wanted to learn like a language that's not in the English alphabet. I really like that how Japanese has three alphabets with one being hiragana and then katakana and kanji and it's so cool just learning a new whole system of alphabets. I like that we like interact with students a lot. We play lots of games. One of them is like the slapping game and it's where we have to like sensei calls out one of the like vocabulary terms and we have to find it in a pile full of like flashcards and then we have to like slap it as fast as we can. There is a Ferris ELD Family Night in the Commons and the Library tomorrow. Desperados is performing this Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m. in the Auditorium. Due to technical issues, only half of you saw this video from the Martin Luther King Con in January. Let's run it again to honor Black History Month. Happy I belong. I belong. I belong. I belong. <laughs> You belong. You belong. You belong. You belong. You belong. We belong. Martin Luther King Day commemorates the life and work of Martin Luther King Jr. It's important to remember that this isn't just a day off from school. Dr. King's work has impacted generations of Ferris students and families, and still impacts our generation today in many ways. I think Martin Luther King Jr. has inspired me more than anything because he is working, he was working to make the world a better place and to promote equality even when times were hard and I think he really shows perseverance. I think the biggest thing is that he had a positive attitude even though he was doing something really hard and it changed things for everybody. I see it as Martin Luther King wanted everybody to be included and he had a vision for everyone to see eye to eye. I don't know, I tell you as like kind of a little bit of an inspiration. Like if I think about it, it's just like it gives me a different mindset to like try to be better. Uh, Martin Luther King has affected my life because it allowed my mom and my dad to get together and then have me, so now I get to go to Ferris. It definitely has allowed me to get a good education, being here, not being forced into an area that I wouldn't prefer being in. And it also allows me to be here stopping with you instead of just being somewhere else entirely. Dr. King is most well known for being a prominent leader of the American Civil Rights Movement and his nonviolent approach to social change. On the walls around Ferris are I, You, We Belong signs made by Ferris leadership. As you walk to your next class or lunch or maybe even on your way out at the end of the day, take this year's theme with you as yet another lesson we learned from Dr. King. I think learning about him and then Beginning to be a part of, um, you know, MLK cons and leadership opportunities has really showed me how important, like, um, you know, community and working together is. I think that Martin Luther King wanted to include everyone, and I think that um, the message that we share here includes that as well. So here's a big like believer in everybody being treated equally. So I think that's a big, big part of like that. I belong. We belong, we belong thing that we have at Ferris. Well, I mean, Martin Luther King was, you know, he was trying to fight for African American rights, right? So that everyone belongs, you know? So he's really, he was kind of the, he was kind of the trailblazer for that. 
he was standing out and trying to actually convey that message of everyone belongs. Everybody should keep working on it because obviously there's ways we can all improve on it, but we're doing well. As said by Tyler Newman during the naturalization ceremony, as American citizens, we belong. While the naturalization ceremony is a great example of this year's theme, students and staff have been working to show our theme in simple, everyday ways. After all, it's the small things that can make the biggest difference. Here at Ferris, we've worked hard to create a theme of I belong, you belong, we belong. My thoughts on the I belong, you belong, you belong theme, I feel like it fits very well with just the diverse kids and the cultures and Ferris High School, and I feel like it has connected with everybody. Like one example is our clubs, is we have just so many outlets for students to feel like they belong. I think Black Student Union. There's the GSA club. The Pokemon club or the D&D club, for example. And it welcomes everybody so they can learn about all the things. In the halls, if someone's walking alone, you know, maybe someone joins them or high fives them, you know, just show them that they're there, you know. And sometimes in class. Um, a group might invite a kid who is usually by themselves to join the group, and that's always really nice to see. I just think that there's like a good community for friends, you know, like everyone just kind of looks out for each other, you know. There's a lot more like diverse friend groups. See that a lot. Once you hear it, you feel like you can really belong, and you feel like you're valued in certain places because sometimes it's hard to find that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, let's go. Yeah. Drum roll. In club news, today after school, Ferris for Christ Club meets in M114. Beyblade Club in room M405. Creative Writing Club in M201. Environmental Club in L201. And Math Club in M116. On Thursday, Cyber Patriots meets in M510 and Art Club in M502. Due to scheduling conflicts, Pokemon Club will not meet after school again until March 9th. And Monday, Engineering Club will be M510. And Homework Center is taking place Wednesday through Thursday until 4 p.m. in the library. Jumping into sports news. The Girls Basketball Awards Ceremony will be in the library today from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Congratulations to Ella Brinkman, Bella Anastasi, and Avery Burns who are attending State at Sammamish High School this Friday and Saturday. There is a dance team competition at Shadle Park High School on Saturday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Archery Club meets in the gym Saturday from 1 to 2.45 p.m. And for all of you playing on playing baseball, softball, golf, soccer, tennis, and track this spring, Spring Sports Open Gym will be from 3 to 4.30 p.m., both on Saturday and get ready because Spring Sports starts Monday next week. In senior news, Mr. Saxon was last Thursday. Well done to all the seniors that competed for the title of Mr. Saxon. Let's see how it went. It's nervous uh, and exciting, but the real excitement starts when you're on stage in front of other people, and it's going to be a great show tonight. Oh, blow your mind away. <laughs>
Adios, batatas. That's sweet potatoes in Spanish. <laughs> and thanks for watching Finn. Stay tuned to hear from Mr. Carter about lockdown drills. Good morning, Saxons. This is Mr. Carter here with our two campus safety specialists, Dennis and Scott, to talk to you about emergency procedure drills. Tomorrow, we will be conducting a lockdown drill here at Ferris High School. Scott Wortley has more information. Yeah, guys, tomorrow will be a lockdown drill, and it's just a drill. The reason we have drills is that we can practice and we can routinely get through what we need to do to ensure that your safety here at Ferris High School. We understand that with lockdown drills, it can create some anxiousness and can cause some emotional charge with them. But just understand that us with campus safety and as well with administration, we want to keep you safe and that's why we practice drills. Um, just like I said, tomorrow is just a drill. Your teachers will instruct you in some certain things that they want you to do, so please follow instructions and listen carefully to what they give you to ensure your safety. So your advisory teachers will now be leading you through a slide deck that's going to talk about how we handle different procedural drills here at Ferris. Remember, if you see something, say something. All we want to do is be able to keep the Ferris family safe. Thanks, and have a great advisory.